Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, I got Crockett, Tubbs, and my Barry Vice. My Berry Vice is a 6.3% fruity wheat beer from Arcadia Ales in Battle Creek, Michigan. I'm continuing my fruit beer week today, and this time it's time for My Berry Vice. So Arcadia's description on their website um, states that this is a wheat beer fermented with red and black raspberries as well as blueberries. I was really kind of um, surprised, I guess is the word, on Griffin's, Griffin Claw's Overnight Sensation Raspberry Ale, which you can click the link now to see what I thought about it. And I want to see how this sizes up versus that, as I still have it fresh in my mind. You know, it was just a couple days ago that I tried it. But before I open this bottle, I just want to take a look at the label real quick. I like that it's a kind of a double play, almost like a triple play on Miami Vice with My Berry Weiss, or I'm sorry, My Berry Vice, which Vice is, you know, like a Vice, uh, Hefeweizen, or, you know, how you pronounce that uh, in beer terms. And um, I also like that it's kind of like got this GTA, uh, GTA 3 Vice City kind of graphic design going on on it and has that Miami sunset aesthetic. It's Miami sunset aesthetic. And uh, I just wanted to point out, I love like the whole Miami colorway. I have a mechanical keyboard and um, this is one of my mechanical keyboards, just so you know I'm legit on that Miami colorway. So yeah, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that my, uh, my Berry Vice lives up to my expectations um, and I don't know. I'm wondering if it's going to be just as surprising as Griffin Claw's Raspberry Ale was, because that was that was pretty surprising to me. I wasn't wasn't expecting that at all. Uh, so, anyways, it's bottle time, and that means time for the handy dandy bottle opener. El Cheaperino over here. Crack this baby open. Put that over there. Set this over here. So yeah, I really love I love this logo. This actually says it was. Um, handcrafted and bottled in Kalamazoo, but I know they have a tap room in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. I think they originated, Arcadia Ale that is, originated out of Battle Creek, so that's kind of what I went with. Uh, it's a odd smell. I can kind of smell fruit in there. It smells actually kind of bready a little bit. This is a lot pinker just right off the gate than the um, Griffin Claw was. Put this right here. Yeah, that's really pink. That reminds me of like a Rubeus, really nice and clear. I can see right, well, you know, relatively see through it as well as you can on a pink beer. But yeah, I can see through it. It's a little foggy from the coolness of the beer. I smell really hint fruit smells there. Um, Raspberry, I don't, I can smell, yeah, I smell, definitely smell raspberry. I don't smell like a blueberry kind of scent to it. it smells kind of, almost like a dry kind of smell to it, which is you usually equate like dry with the way that it tastes. So I'm kind of expecting it to be maybe a little sour uh, and dry. Let's check it out. To drink that way too quick. All right, that's good. It's kind of like, uh, it's, it is dry. It is not bitter, it's smooth. It's not, it doesn't taste overly carbonated. I think that's the one big issue that I had with uh, the Griffin Claw Raspberry Ale that I just tried is that it, um, it just tasted over carbonated, over, over, over carbonated, over carbonated. It was um, bitter. This isn't really bitter. I mean, it has kind of like a dryish. It, it does have a little bit of a dry finish. It's not, um, but it's not anything like the raspberry ale from Griffin Claw was. If I roll it around in my mouth a little bit more, I can taste, I can get the raspberry out of it. I can get maybe a hint of blueberry, not much. Um, the aftertaste is pretty pleasant. It's not, uh, it's not too bitter or anything. Mm. 
And yeah, this is really smooth. It's good. I, I like that it's how smooth it is. It's not too, th it doesn't feel too thick. It's the mouthfeel isn't too thick. It's not too thin. Kind of move it on your, if I move it on my tongue a little bit, I can pick up more, more fruit. If I were to take, take a swig like this, I guess I do get a little bit of a, of a, maybe like black raspberries on the back, on the back uh, end of the, the drink, like a quick drink. Um, and I think if I just kind of roll it around in my mouth, maybe I get more of a, more of a sweeter raspberry taste where I, um, I usually think of black raspberries as being a little bit more bitter. I mean, they can be really sweet, but usually if you get them out of season, they can be a little more bitter than the red ones are. Uh, I could be talking out of my ass, but um, yeah, I can I can definitely pick up raspberry, not so much blueberry. But yeah, I, I like this a lot better than I like the Griffin Claw raspberry ale. If I'm comparing the two against each other, I would go with this every time. Um, it's not too sweet, it's not too bitter, it's not too dry, it's really kind of pleasing. It's not, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just, it goes down a lot easier than the Arcadia, I'm sorry, a lot easier than the Griffin Claw did, but this Arcadia, um, my berry vice is, it's really, it's refreshing. It's, it doesn't feel like it hits you too hard, and it's 6.3%, I mean, that's nothing to slouch at, but it's, um, it's good. It's, it's crisp and refreshing and not too overpowering in any in any direction. Um, and this is really, this is the first Arcadia Ale that I can remember having. Um, and I know they've been around. I've, I see them all over the place. I just don't generally pick them up. I, I know that I've had some before, but if you told me to pick them out of a lineup, I couldn't I couldn't tell you which ones I've had and which ones I haven't, ha I haven't had. So that's really kind of, that's cool. I like this. And I also want to say when I try a lot of these beers for review, generally it's the first time I've tried them. Um, or it's been a, a really long time since I've had it. Um, I like to get kind of a fresh perspective so I don't go in there with a bias and it's kind of like I'm, I'm doing like a blind taste testing. Uh, so with that being said, what other Arcadia ales do you recommend? Um, I don't know how many of those I've tried. If if you, you know, to pick them out of a lineup, I probably couldn't, I couldn't, I'd probably look at one and say, oh, I think based on the label, I may have had that, but I don't really know if I've had any other ones. Are you an Arcadia Ales fan? Uh, if so, what do you recommend? Um, I know I have Hot Mouth on my radar, but other than that with Arcadia, I'm kind of flying blind. I know it's pretty close to me and, and I do want to check them out um, and check one of their tap rooms out. I just haven't got a chance yet. So anyhow, if you like what I'm doing here, um, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave those Arcadia Ales or other fruit beers, other styles you think I should try. Leave them in the comments below this video. Um, and also, be sure to check out my Instagram where I'm documenting my beer hauls um, and some of the beers that I'm not reviewing on YouTube. If I'm you know, drinking on the weekend, I'll post a picture up there of something I might not you know, review on the, on the channel. I try to stick to mostly uh, Michigan beers and breweries. Also, check out my website, uh, drafttherapy.com, where I write um, reviews on Michigan breweries that I've been to. And I also have a Facebook page that's really kind of just starting out. I usually just post links to my videos. I post little uh, video pieces that I've put together, some sneak peeks on something that I'm going to be putting a review out for later that day. Uh, so check that out as well. Like and, and uh, check that out and see if you like some of the stuff I'm doing. And now that I've said all that, uh, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers.